Well, hello, Katrine. Thank you so much for joining me today and sharing your thoughts on instinct, intuition, and your gut feeling. Hi, Cynthia. So nice to see you again. More than Absolutely. happy to join you. So, I, so that everybody knows, the way that I found you and pursued a friendship and relationship with you is I watched your TED Talk that you did in 2016 about gut feeling, instinct, and intuition and how to listen to it and leverage it and then made friends with you and connected with you on LinkedIn. And you've been very kind in speaking with me today and sharing your thoughts with everyone about what you've learned in business and in your personal life. So again, thank you. You're so welcome. Very happy to talk to you. So just so everyone knows, I will also have a link at the bottom or as a part of the body so you can go watch her TED Talk and I highly advise you go do that. Um, so next, quick question for you to share with us what what experiences have you had in the past and how how can we and how have you leveraged your guts and your instinct when it came to hiring and adding someone new to the team or even potentially making the decision to partner with someone and go into business with them or um, work on a project together. So share with us your thoughts, would you please? Of course. Yes, I think first of all, it's really important to, um, to really think about what you want and what you need and how you imagine both the team to work, how you imagine you know, the softer values to work uh, and the collaboration and everything, because the more you're aware of how you really see all these um, softer values coming together, the more you can also, in the conversation with someone, in, in the interview process, go a bit behind everything uh, that you can check off in the person's resume and all the practical questions, and really, you know, sense when the conversation is going on, if, if you can imagine a relationship with this, per like a working relationship with this person, and if you can really see them, you know, working in the team and working with you. So okay, that's so here's what, here's what I heard you say. Go past what you're reading on a person's resume and ask additional questions and also think about and visualize how this person will mesh and collaborate with you as well as with other team members. Did I hear you correctly? Yes, exactly. Okay, fantastic. Because you really know what you're aiming for, the, the clearer your intuition and the clearer your instinct will become. Yeah. Have you ever um, hired someone and your gut was telling you, mm, I'm not quite sure if this person is the right person, but they look great on a resume and then you regretted your decision after hiring them? Has that ever happened to you? For sure. It happened uh, one time when I was really, you know, I could sense in the interview that I'm not sure that we really connect as people and that our ways of working together will, will be really great. But then yeah, I took the easy way and thought, okay, but she checks all the boxes, you know, she knows all the things that I need her to start doing today. So I went for the click, uh, the quick decision um, and hired her anyways. And it actually ended up being quite a short, uh, short term hiring because I had to, I think three, four months down the road, um, yeah, say goodbye to her again. So obviously we lost a bit of time there and I should have really, really listened to my gut, gut feeling back then. Okay, because if you had listened, you would have gotten the project further along in the process versus having to stop and start at square one again. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. If there was one thing that you could share with everyone listening right now when it comes to your gut instinct and intuition, what would that be? What's your advice for us? Uh, I think it's definitely to make sure that you always reflect on your decisions uh, because the stronger, you, the more you reflect on both good or bad decisions, uh, the stronger you will make your um, your intuition going forward. Okay, so here's what I heard you say. Listen to your gut and intuition and that voice telling you, yes, move forward or no, stop. Yes, exactly. And then I think it's also really reflect on both when you thought you made a good decision or when you made a less good decision to really look at, you know, 
why wasn't it a good decision and reflect a bit on it so that it will strengthen your intuition in future decisions. All right, well, fantastic. Well, thank you very much for sharing with us today. So pick up your copy of The Magical Power of Three. Um, you will find her Katrine's quotes and advice in chapter three, which focuses on your gut feeling, instincts, and intuition. So I look forward to talking with you more and seeing you on some of the live coaching sessions. Thank you, Katrine. Appreciate yep. you. You're very welcome. And same to you. Look forward to read the book. <laughs>